But one of the things we first mentioned to each other was we really liked how you uh, organized the project. Um, and I think that's something that both Jason and I have discussed in recent past together that we would like to sort of share content about um, uh, how to f structure your uh, your projects, because that's really important. Um, as we can see here, and I'm sure Jason has some thoughts here, we can see that uh, we've got, you know, animations, audio, prefab scenes. And then when you look into the scripts folder, even that is, is organized very nicely so that you've got the UI separated. He's got weapons, managers. And design patterns. That was a fun. That was an interesting one. That yeah, we, we're a bit confused. Going, what's in the design patterns? What is that? Yeah. <laughs> so, so just that was like kind of the first uh, critique, um, not critique or thought. I don't know. You have any thoughts? Any other thoughts on that before we jump into the code? No, no. I just say that it's it's worth noting. There's um there's sort of two schools of thought on building systems like this for, for structuring your folders. You can either uh, structure by content type, or you can structure by feature type. Hmm. Now, it's worth noting, um, for most normal projects, the, the instinct is to say, I'll put the scripts with the scripts, I'll put the textures with the textures, and it all makes sense to kind of store it that way. I will say, when you're working with Unity, though, it's worth keeping in mind, <clears throat> Unity isn't a file system. Now, it looks like a file system. You can look at the project directory, and it feels like a file system, but it's got an entire searching solution. You can, you can search, you can use tags, you can basically go through and, and find things. So realistically, if you want to find a texture with a certain name, you can literally type the name, type the type, and it'll show up immediately, right? There's no there's no need to sort of keep that um, logical connection between the folder of the type of thing it is and the thing it is. It keeps it tidy, but it doesn't give you more information or more features to search by. But you can't search by conceptual feature. So if you have something like a fire sword, and there might be four concepts associated with it, the sound for it, the texture for it, and the, you know, the, the scripts that run it and the, the prefab for it, uh, sometimes it might be easier. You'd want to look at all of the fire sword stuff in one place. Hypothetically, mm. you might want to move it, you might want to delete it, you might want to copy it. So you can type fire sword, but you're going to end up getting everything with fire in it. You're going to go through all the code. Um, but even then, it's hard to find which of all of these things with fire in the title or whatever are the one I'm looking for or whatever else. And again, Naming correctly helps, but yeah. my point is, can't depend. Uh, yeah, it, it's harder to con conceptually draw stuff like that. Now there are tags in the bottom right corner. Unity allows you to tag assets; you can group them relative to each other, and that's pretty good for parent par categories. Mm -hmm. It's a bit harder for things that are on discrete. I call them feature level. So I guess my my summary is: you can either group things by type, which works. This is a really good system for for managing a, a project of this scale. But if the project starts to scale up too large usually a good idea to start thinking about putting things in groups by feature type. So put the enemies together and the orcs together and the boss orc and whatever else. And he, his stuff is all in one directory for his stuff. Because what tends to happen in big projects in a practical sense is someone will say, we're, we're, we're annexing the, the boss orc. He's not a feature anymore. We're adding the, the laser dragon. So you want to be able to delete the orc stuff and add a laser dragon stuff. And having to go on a hunt through your application to find all of the associated assets can be a bit of a pain. So as things are to scale up, maybe think about putting things in groups relative to what it is, not what type of content each file is, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's and it's a good point because, uh, you know, I, if you're like me, and most developers probably come up against that, you, you think, how do I structure this? Is it features or is it type? And typically I try to go feature, but yeah, I mean, there's feature type is another is another op yeah, another option. It's a scale thing, right? Like for this yeah. size of project, this is far better. Like if you'd gone down a rabbit hole of building a bunch of feature <laughs> systems for this, that would be even worse. I'm just saying that this is an option as projects start to scale up. Yeah, like for instance, he could have come in here on the weapons and tried to say try to make folders based on weapon type, you know. And but I think for this scale, this is the appropriate uh, approach here. So cool. Yeah. 